Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back today in the redstone tutorial world. And today we're going to go over another set of components in redstone that is very common to use and that is the dropper and the dispenser. Now these two are very similar but they have a little bit of quirks that make them different and we're going to go through that in just a second. But first I want to say thank you everybody for liking this series. This is where yours has been kind of popular. Um, and that's good. And so thank you for those likes. Thank you for the comments. And we're going to keep on doing this. And hopefully when we get done with this entire uh, tutorial series, there will be a large, vast library of redstone tips and tricks. So thank you, everybody. Let's get started. So to make these things really quick, I want to show you how to do this. Okay, we've got the crafting table over here. The basic recipe is this. You have cobblestone and a piece of redstone. Okay, and that is a dropper. Okay, just this upside down U or an N if you will, and then some redstone dust. Okay, that's a dropper. And then to make a dispenser, it's the same thing, but you put a bow in the middle. Okay, now if you look at how these look when they're placed, you can tell by what they look like here. This has more of a circle. Dispenser is like a circle, a dropper has this little V shape. Okay, so that kind of tells you what they are when you see them. Now let's go into some of the neat things about these blocks. As you're probably aware, working with lava or water with redstone is not exactly great. Lava will tend to burn up objects when it hits those. Okay, just like that. Okay, you can see that's pretty good. And of course, water doesn't destroy the items. Let me let this go here. But it just pushes it all away and breaks it. Okay, and that happens for a lot of the different redstone components. Okay. Um, but with this, if you have, let's say you have a dropper or a dispenser, either one, uh, it stops the block because it's a full block. It stops the water flow and it also can stop lava flow, which is a good thing to know that it, it can't damage. Um, those things can't damage your redstone. The other thing that's interesting is that you cannot push these blocks with pistons. Okay. The pistons will not fire. If I get rid of them, pistons fire. So. That's a way to also block pistons for some reason, or you might want to check your redstone builds if a piston isn't working, because maybe you have a block in the wrong place. Another thing that I just learned, and this is kind of cool, and I'm going to test this out right here, is if you have an anvil, you can rename these. So this says normally says just dropper or dispenser, but I can name this just by putting this up here. I'm going to call this Tinker 77 Dropper. Okay, and, and there you go. Now let's put this down, and you can see. It says it right there. So you can rename this so you can maybe specify this is my arrow shooter or you can whatever you want. This is the water dispenser or whatever you want. You can use an anvil to name it. I didn't know that until I did some research today on this subject. So there's another piece of information for you. Both the dropper and the dispenser have an inventory spots here of nine slots. And so you can use this as like a very limited chest if you need to. Um, I never had that. But if you have to put something somewhere real quick, you can put things in a dropper or a dispenser. Now it has inventory, so I'm gonna put some stuff in here. And as far as um, blocks, they both will do this same kind of thing. See, it just pushes the block out. If I put this other inventory here and press the but button, it just pushes the block out. So they're very similar for most things, okay? But there are some differences, and I will show you what the dispenser does differently than the dropper. Okay, assume for a moment that we have, instead of the cobblestone, we have water here, a bucket of water. And if you do this in a dropper, it throws the bucket out. I was standing too close. Let me do that again here. I'll do it this way. You can see it throws the item out. That's all the dropper does is just throw items out. Now, if you are in a dispenser, it does something different. It actually uses the bucket to put out the water. And you've probably seen this in other videos. So now it dispenses it. And when I press it again, it'll collect it up because the bucket is empty. See that water bucket's there, it's full. I'll press the button. The water bucket's empty, so it's kind of using the item on whatever stuff is in front of it. And that's the real difference between the two. This is just using an item if it can. If it can't, it just throws it out. So here, if I put in here, it's like say for instance, you put in some arrows right here, it'll actually start shooting the arrows. See that? If you put arrows in here, we'll put the three arrows here, it just kind of drops it. See, it's not activating the item, and that's kind of cool. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this is these um, things, is if I put this here, okay, it's got a random chance of picking which one it's going to do. We don't know. It'll do, oh, the bucket went out, and now a cobblestone went out, an arrow, 
See what I mean? It does random things. And this is the same way over here. The difference is it'll, <laughs> it'll activate these instead of just dropping them out. So there, it dropped that out. It shot an arrow and it dispensed the water. Okay. Those are the big, big changes that you can do with these. So remember, if you see the little triangle shape here, that means it's a dropper and it drops the items. If you see the circle, it's not, it's just like a dropper with the additional ability of dispensing items that have, um, or activating items that have some sort of use buckets. Um, and I think believe in the new updates that are coming out, shears for sheep and that sort of thing. So it's a very different tool that works almost the same as they're, they're kind of like brothers, <laughs> dropper and dispenser. Another thing you can do, you could chain droppers together. Okay, so let's say I see how it's pointing this way. I'm gonna put another one in front of it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here though is I'm gonna put a button on top of these right here. Okay, and the reason why is, I'm gonna show you this really quick. I'm gonna put a piece of cobblestone in here. When I hit this button, it activates this block, but it also activates the next one. So it'll fire both of these, watch. Okay, I press that. It's no longer here. It's not here, but it's in here. And if I do this, it activated those two, and then boom, there's our cobblestone. So if you can create a circuit that might uh, do these in sequence, you could have this just run a line of items through a dropper chain. And this is a way of doing dropper elevators. If you do the same kind of thing, if you imagine, um, you don't use dropper elevators as much, but let's see here if I do this. Let's do one more and one more. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the buttons up here, here, and here. And if you put an item in here, like a piece of redstone, you press it, it goes up. It should be in this one. If you go up, because I'm doing activating those around it, and then the last one here, and you saw it up there. It's probably way up high, and there it is. So that's something to be aware of, that you can use these in a chain as well. Now, this dropper and dispenser, they can be powered by the blocks that are beside them. And this is very useful, and I use this in a basic circuit that I use for trash cans and things. And I'm not gonna go over into detail on the circuit really here. Just know that basically when an item is put in here, the way the part of the circuit works, in essence, fires a clock. And if you think about it, we're gonna say click, 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 as if we're pressing a button, okay? And so then it just goes all the way around. I right, drop my redstone here. And we're gonna say putting into this block and you'll see it just drop one out, there it goes, okay? So that's the idea here with this circuit. And I'll go into another video with this, but here we go. So if I put some items here, let's put in some of that. You can see it just automatically will start dispensing items, or sorry, dropping items. The same thing works over here, the same circuit. So if I put in, let's say, uh, let's put in six of here. There it goes, see that? Six of them. And, but with this, if you put in arrows, you've got like a little bit of a machine gun. Isn't that cool? So, and same thing, I believe it works also with, it doesn't work with TNT. Let's go find, I don't want to blow up my base. Never mind, we're not going to work with TNT. I think it works with TNT. But you get the idea. You can move, power these through redstone circuits to make them dispense or drop or do whatever you want at the time you want, okay? Look at all those arrows. Should be about done, right? There it goes. We'll pick them all up. Okay, so really that's about all that I know of the dropper and the dispenser. All right, guys, that's all I got time for this video. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And you know, I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.